have a ghost. Thank you so much. I see. So the 90, 70, that's, um, how many people did which action. That makes sense. Sure. Oh, hello. You have spent quite some time in here engaging in such idle chatter. Do you not know that we have not a moment left to waste? You must try harder from now on. Okay. Ah, support. Hooray. Oh. Interesting. All right. Training again. You're certainly working hard, Kaspar. <sighs> oh, Edelgard. You scared me. You should have said something. I did, but no matter. <laughs> what has your training with such intensity? It's never good to neglect one's training, but overdoing it is ill advised as well. You could already give any student here a battle they wouldn't soon forget. <laughs> You think so? Well, thanks. I appreciate that. I can't really stop training, though. I gotta get better if I expect to get anywhere in this world. If memory serves, you're the second son of House Birdleaves, right? That's right. My older brother is the heir, and there are already too many mouths to feed in our family, so I can't count on any support. I pretty much have to make it on my own, you know? I understand. It's difficult being born a noble. Those who inherit everything also inherit great burdens. But the same can be said of those who inherit nothing. What are you talking about? I don't have any troubles. Who cares if I don't inherit anything? It just means I get to cut a path to my own future. You know what your problem is, Edelgard? You always have to make everything about you. Are you picking a fight, Kaspar? Jeez. Hey, now, come on. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Always happy to fight, though, if that's what you want. <sighs> I have no desire to bicker with you. Good luck with your training. Goodbye. What was that about? I'll never understand her. So, wait a sec. That's weird. Why is the only person she can get uh, an S support with me? <coughs> Bless me. Mm. Interesting. All right. Oh, that's right. I was going to wander. Oh, wait. I see. Uh, let's go this way. People to talk to over here. Arf. Wow. I'm studying here so I could be the best there is, just like Captain Gerald. Do you think I've got it in me to be a top tier mercenary professor? I'm going to work a lot harder than all the fancy nobles around here, I can tell you that. Goodness. Oh. 
cool. My central duty as a noble is to protect the common folk. I abhor those like Lord Lenato, who deliberately shatter the peace. Utterly disgraceful. But you have a kind soul, Professor. Now I feel a little sheepish for showing anger and not empathy. I apologize for my impetuousness. He seems like a sweetie. Some minor noble rebelling in Fargus, right? He has no chance of winning. I wonder what he hopes to achieve. Huh? Are you going along to help? Sounds like an easy victory, but good luck out there. Ah. Hello. Hello. Hello yourself. This month's assignment, raising an army against the church, really? Though it looks like we won't be fighting, it's still quite unsettling. Oh, we're definitely going to be fighting. My understanding <laughs> is that it will all be subdued rather quickly. Ugh. I've heard whispers about Lord Lenato. They say he's a very kind and gentle lord. Why would such a kind man suddenly raise an army? Oh, Professor, you were working late last night, weren't you? You shouldn't overdo it. A ghost might rise up from the well to get you if you stay up too late. <laughs> or so I'm told. I have a favor to ask of you. Okay, talk to the counselor. I felt a bit lost here at the monastery at a loss for what to do Thankfully a sweet young girl reached out and offered her help. I believe she said it's little sister. Yeah, I like her uh, Flarn Plain something like that Professor, have you seen Felix around? I swear, as soon as you take your eyes off him, poof, he's gone. Oh, shit. I didn't see him either of these places because I haven't been there yet. All right. It is mealtime. Sorry for bothering you, Professor. Thanks. <clears throat> I hear that Lord Lenato served the King of Fargus' older brother when he was younger. Or something like that. He already had status and prestige. So, why raise a rebellion? Eh, I guess it's none of my business. Professor, nothing to report. Have you talked with Catherine yet? <laughs> if the knights are the cream of the crop, she's the cream of the cream. Oh, and that relic of hers. I hear it's nothing short of amazing. Professor. Oh, no. Since we're heading to Castle Gaspar, that means we'll be passing through Magdred Way. The road is well known for its beautiful surroundings. 
Depending on the time of year, it can be incredibly foggy, though. When it's like that, you can't enjoy the lovely scenery. Lucky for us, it shouldn't be too foggy while we're there. Not that we'll have time for sightseeing, anyway. Oh, there she is. Professor, your clothes are a bit dirty. If you don't pay attention to your hygiene, the girls won't like you. I mean, I don't want the girls to like me. That's one of the many reasons I find it best to train as little as possible. <laughs> Welcome. Somebody got the. Yeah, there we go. This one? Damn. Thank awesome. you. Please come again. Yep. Why is it here? Professor. Professor. Welcome. Let's see. Sword. Will this one do? Many thanks. Um. Yeah. Come back soon. Professor, um, was there something you needed? Oh, you like horses? I like them too. They're such kind creatures. Who does her voice? I feel like I just played a game recently that had her in it. I'm gonna look it up. Marianne, Fire Emblem. actor <clears throat> oh definitely not somebody I recognize huh Be on your guard. Okay. Best be on your guard. Let's see. After Fargus lost its king, there were many rebellions. It is likely that Lord Lenato's provocations are related. How frustrating that I am too young to take the throne. 
rendered powerless by age. If the throne is vacant much longer, the kingdom will fall to ruin. Hmm. It is a noble's duty to protect the common folk, not to endanger them by rallying armies in such a feckless and improper manner. Abuse of that kind is no better than slavery. A proper noble must guard the people from such a fate, wouldn't you say? Precisely why true nobility is well respected. It would seem that your reputation is on the rise. Even Lady Rhea has taken a liking to you. It's a shame I am not in your class. But I suppose I am content with my current arrangement. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Catherine has invited me to train with her. How much do you think I should train before I'm ready to train with someone that strong? Are truly blessed with how fertile the monastery grounds are. Every day there's something new to harvest. Hi, Professor. Did you need something? I've actually got plans. grounds are far too spread out. Feels like it takes hours to get from one area to another. And no, that's not because I'm getting lost. I'm a fully capable, mature person who never gets lost. <laughs> yes, I'm actually very good. All right. Don't know what that does, but hello there. Hmm, wonder what this is. Yeah, I love this idea of this like gigantic home base that we get to um, explore that keeps getting What's bigger. What's going to happen to Lenato if he's killed? I, I don't know how I'll live with that. Huh? You're inviting me to join your class. I'm really flattered, honestly. All right. Oh, today's the choir festival. Don't know what that means, but I guess I will sing in the Maybe. choir. Lord Lonato. He used to stay at the monastery rather frequently. He was such a pious man. A true believer. Such a terrible shame. I wonder what changed him. I have a thought. Past here is the holy mausoleum where the saints of the Church of Sera slumber. Sorry, but only a select few members of the church are allowed entry. It's open to the public on only one day of the year for the goddess's right of rebirth. Interesting. Okay, there's a quest in here. There's something. Oh, yeah, the counselor. What? The counselor. There we go. Oh boy, okay. Uh, song and dance. Hercule Liva. It's 
Gotta be her. Yeah. Thank you so much for your help. I still don't. Hmm. I still don't know what the renown does or even is good for. I don't know, I know combat shit. Oh my god, no thanks. Online. Hmm, nope. Oh, look, do you have another note? Cool. There's many men in the world. There are stars in the sky, but you meet so few good men during your time on this planet. How does one meet a worthy partner? Uh, man or no man, lots of people care about you. Cool. I like you. There are no notes. Cool. Alright. Um. Is there a bulletin board around here? No. Both of the quests are right here. Oh. I can't believe hey, you. this place has so many breathtaking works of art. I feel like I'm living in a museum. Each piece can teach us about styles and techniques from a thousand years ago. Do you like oh, art? Yes, very much. I'm from a family of merchants, so I've been able to see a lot of art. Cool. Pointing a sword at the Holy Church of Seros is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself, meeting out appropriate punishment to the sinful. It is a sacred duty with which we have been entrusted. As a member of the church yourself, I hope that you will take that to heart. Sounds like every time I pass her, it just sounds like I've just like shoved her out of the way. She's just like, really? <laughs> well, did you hear? There's news of someone in the kingdom raising an army. The kingdom, the empire, the alliance. They do love a good war, don't they? Spilling the blood of young men and women. And for what? Just to enjoy the horror of it? Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? Hmm. Gross. I like that. That it expends activity points, but... Sure, might as well. Hmm. Let's go with that. Ooh. I still have much to learn. I simply must thank you, Professor. 
I love how she gave me gold for, like, her to teach me. Castle Gaspar, eh? I've been there once before, many years ago. It was by request of the son of that family. Kristoff, I think it was. I have a request. Okay. Thanks for your help. <laughs> okay, I guess, yeah, that thing that I found was for him. Use the gift option to increase your support points with others by giving them things they like. I find lost items around the monastery. Use the lost item option to return them to their owners and increase support points. Cool. You may battle alongside Catherine. Even among the knights, she is something special. A holy knight who is able to wield a hero's relic. Still, she can be a might difficult. Alright, let's read some more of these books. History of Fodlin Part 2. Year 721, the first mock war. The Dagdan army. Isn't that the name of a character from Thracia? The Dagdan army invaded from across the sea through the Imperial forces. I'm sorry. Though the Imperial forces resisted the attack and drove off the enemy, the land of Mach su sustained uh, considerable damage. The invasion of Brigid. The Empire invaded the Brigid Archi Archipelago, a land occupied by allies of Dagda. A, as penance for their refusal to surrender, the people of Brigid were relegated to a life of imperial subjugation. That's dark. Invasion of Dagda with the boon of a strong foothold in Brigid, the Empire mounted a large-scale invasion of Dagda. However, the fortunes of war were not on their side, and the attack failed. The Fargus Rebellion. Uh, Lug, a descendant of one of the houses that first quarreled with the Empire, raised an army to demand independence, pulling the land of Fargus into a fierce rebellion. This clash came to be known as the War of the Eagle and Lion. The founding of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Lug and his resistance army were victorious over the Imperial forces. The Holy Church of Saros mediated between the two, and Fargus secured its hard-won independence as the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. The Leicester Rebellion. A rebellion broke out in the Imperial lands of Leicester, which the Imperial army was unable to suppress. The Holy Kingdom, viewing the uprising as an opportunity to increase its own political sway, occupied the Leicester region formally declaring it as a territory of Fargus. Fargus divided. Following the death of King Klaus I, three princes became archdukes and split the Holy Kingdom of Fargus that they may rule over it as three separate territories. Crescent Moon War, the archduke ruling over the Leicester region of the kingdom succumbed to illness. The lords of the... Leicester lands refused to acknowledge the next Archduke in line, instead plotting to rule jointly as an alliance. The founding of the Leicester Alliance was officially formed after the subjugation of hostile nobles and the removal of all opposing forces in the regions of Fargus. 
An influential figure from the outset, Duke Regan was an arguably the heart of the newly formed alliance. That's um, Claude's family, right? I think so. The Almerian evasion. Of the Almer Almerian invasion. The great eastern nation of, Al of Almira crossed through Fodlin's throat and invaded alliance territory. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Fodlin's throat. The Empire dispatched troops in order to help conquer the threat, and the attackers were just barely driven off. The construction of Fodlin's locket. To defend against future Almiran nation invasions, the Alliance, the Kingdom, and the Empire joined their forces and resources to construct the indomitable fort known as Fodland's Locket. Alright, that's enough reading for today. Um, is there anything else? No. Well. Well. Okay, let's go this way. I guess I can't go that way. That's odd. Uh. Okay, then. Ooh, what are all of these things? Someone with a large physique who often finds themselves in fights. Wow, I know who both of those people are. Here to train? You really are as hardworking as they say. <laughs> That's right. I'm a force of nature. <laughs> Maybe the gossip's wrong. Hardworking people usually don't like to make a big fuss about it. <laughs> um. Wait, do I have anything? Large physique, fights, interested in magic in the process. Impressive. Catherine, hmm? Her skill is impressive, I'll admit. So is her sword. But I think she's hiding something. Nobody knows anything about her past. You should spar with her. She's strong. Stronger than you are, I bet. <laughs> Even within the Knights of Saros, Catherine is the strongest. By a large margin from what I've gathered. Why not seek her out as a sparring partner, Professor? How did you know this was mine? Thank you, my teacher. Something about this situation doesn't feel right. Why would a minor lord raise an army against a foe he cannot possibly hope to defeat? Hey, Professor, do you happen to have any food on you? I'm starving. No matter how much I eat before I train, <laughs> I'm always so hungry after. My muscles must be going through a growth spurt. Think you have some kind of condition, buddy? Uh, really think you need to, uh... Oh, hey! See a I doctor. I believe I dropped this. Thanks for bringing it to me. You're welcome. Oh, there's somebody in here. Oh, 
original. The plants of Fodlin are different ones than in Bridget. The people here are unknowing of the spirits who watch over the earth and bless it. Only the goddesses know. Is that factual? If the flowers within the greenhouse are removed, Flame, they that's will soon wilt and wither. Is that not so, Professor? I feel I can empathize with them. The flowers, flowers that thrive despite their environment, are truly inspiring, are they not? Neat. Inspirational. Uh, does this... I guess it doesn't. Cool. I still have no idea what that does, but... Um... I guess that's all I can do for right now. I would like a word. It has been brought to my attention that certain individuals have been making advances toward flame. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? If you do see anyone getting too close with flame, please inform me of it at once. Kingdom School of Sorcery. Who went to the School of Sorcery? I'm sorry, but I must vent to someone, Professor. You're familiar with Manuela's slovenly behavior, yes? Unfortunately. That woman. She borrowed a book last week and returned it with stains of unknown origin on the cover and several pages either folded or torn. Um. Just now, she dropped a sandwich on the floor, picked it up, and kept eating. When yeah. she saw my shock, she said simply, three second rule. Ugh. <laughs> um. I can't believe I left this behind. Thank you so much for retrieving it. Ah, uh, today's meal was delicious. <clears throat> Linhart keeps bothering me about eating too fast. Says I'm gonna choke or something. Absolutely! I knew you'd see things my way. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely mine. You really saved me with this. I owe you one, Professor. Oh, support. Hell yeah. Hey, what? Ah, today. Can I not support with them? What the fuck? Huh. Oh, and they're ready to speak with you. Okay. Professor, I feel I must speak to you about Kaspar's eating habits. I've never seen the like of it. He inhales entire plates of food in mere seconds. <laughs> Me. Hence my mentioning it to you. Good luck with him. Did he go to the end school? Officer's Academy, nope. 
Huh. Is that everybody? Huh. I guess that's everything. I have one more activity point that I'll spend, but... What? I desired fresh air. I have a favor to ask. Um, bringing some reinforcements along might give you. Oh, cool! Cool. Now I can. Oh. Hey. Does fishing take time? I guess not. Marketplaces this way. Yep. What do you require? Can't I get this one? Oh, you gotta have. Okay, I see. Let's do. Yeah, yeah, let's do this one. Do you want to hire this battalion? Mm -hmm. Sure. Nice to meet you. Thank you. In the Battalion Guild, you can find various battalions that aren't affiliated with the Church of Seraphs. We're allowed to hire them if we so please, so you should familiarize yourself with the Guild whenever you have the chance. Naturally, battalions lose endurance as they fight. If you visit the Battalion Guild in the market, you'll be able to replenish their endurance. Okay. So. <gasps> oh, excuse me. There are bullets aboard. Here, here's one. Cool. Yeah, these sections are feeling a lot like Persona. It's kind of like leveling up your social links.
guess, let's see. Let's go with, ah, I like him. Professor, let me sing for you. Do you not like my voice? It would make a Pegasus dance with joy. <laughs> Singing in tune with others proved quite difficult. I think I'm gonna leave it off here for today. Uh, it is it's 1:30 right now. Uh, pretty sure I've been doing this for like two hours. Uh, this uh, this just this episode alone. Uh, so yeah, I think that'll be it for today. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.